In this short video, we will discuss the closing transfers relating to cost of sales when a business applies the principles of the perpetual inventory system. When a business makes use of the perpetual inventory system, all inventory purchased are recorded directly in the inventory account. This is done for both credit and cash purchases of inventory. When any inventory is sold, the amount paid for that inventory needs to be recorded as cost of sales at the same time the sale took place. This means that if a business purchased 10 pence for 1 rand each, then the inventory account will be debited with 10 rand. If the business now sells 2 pence for 3 rand each, an amount of 2 rand will be credited to the inventory account and debited to the cost of sales account. At the same time, an amount of 6 rand will be recorded in the sales account. In order to do the closing transfers for cost of sales when using the perpetual inventory system, we need to start with a settlement discount received account in the general ledger. If we look at the cost of sales account, we can see entries posted from the cash receipts journal and the sales journal on the debit side and an entry from the sales returns journal on the credit side. The first entry on the debit side relates to the cost of sales of inventory that was sold for cash to the amount of 12,000 Rand and the second entry relates to the cost of sales of the inventory that was sold on credit totaling 17,000 Rand. The entry on the credit side of the cost of sales account relates to the cost of goods previously sold on credit that was returned by customers. Settlement discount received was posted from the cash payments journal. Settlement discount received are recorded in the cash payments journal when the business receives settlement discount from trade creditors for early settlement of accounts. Firstly, we need to do the closing transfer for the settlement discount received account. The settlement discount received account has a credit balance of 4,300 Rand and therefore to close this account we will need to make an entry of 4,300 Rand on the debit side of the settlement discount received account. The closing transfer will be done in the general journal. The settlement discount received account will be debited with 4,300 Rand and the balance is transferred to the cost of sales account, which means the cost of sales account will be credited with 4,300 Rand. The settlement discount received account now has a zero balance. The next account that needs to be closed is the cost of sales account. The next step now is to calculate the total of the debit side and the total of the credit side. After adding the amounts on the debit side, the total is 29,000 Rand. The total of the credit side amounts to 7,200 Rand. We now write the largest of the two totals on the debit and credit side. Next, we need to calculate the balance of the cost of sales account that will be transferred to the trading account. 29,000 Rand less 7,200 Rand equals 21,800 Rand to be transferred. In order to close the cost of sales account, we will need an entry on the credit side. Remember that a closed account will have a zero balance, which means that the total of the account on the debit side must be equal to the total of the account on the credit side. The trading account will be debited with 21,800 Rand and the cost of sales account will be credited with 21,800 Rand. After posting the closing drawings for journal entry to the general ledger, the cost of sales account will now have a zero balance and the trading account will have an entry relating to cost of sales on the debit side to the amount of 21,800 Rand. 
In summary, the steps we follow to do all the closing transfers for the cost of sales for a retail entity that applies the perpetual inventory system are first, transfer the total of the settlement discount received account to the cost of sales account. Total the debit and credit side of the cost of sales account. Calculate the new balance of the cost of sales account and lastly, transfer the balance of the cost of sales account to the trading account. In the short video, we discussed the closing transfers relating to the cost of sales when a business applies the principles of the perpetual inventory system. You should now be able to close the settlement discount received account and the cost of sales account.